In this video, we're going to look at simple money calculations with an element of problem solving. The examples in this video are based on Edexcel Foundation, June 2022, paper one. So these are non-calculator questions. And this was question seven. So this appeared fairly early on in the paper. So it's supposed to be more of an accessible question. We've got three marks available. So really, you need to make sure that you're getting every single one of those three fairly easy marks. OK, let's have a look at some examples. So Arjan buys some plants. Each plant costs three pounds. Arjan pays with a 20 pound note. He gets eight pound change. Work out the number of plants Arjan buys. So as I'm reading that question, I'm immediately thinking about this second bit here because I can already work something out. So if he pays the £20 note and gets £8 change, I know using that information, because 20 minus 8 is 12, that Arjan has spent £12. And he's spent that £12 on these plants. Now, each plant costs three pounds so to work out how many plants he's bought we've got to work out how many lots of three pounds go into 12 pounds so we're dividing 12 by three and that's three six nine twelve that's four so we know that arjan has bought four plants so we've got four plants each costing three pound that gives us 12 pound altogether he pays the £20 note, he gets his £8 change. And with these straightforward questions, it's really important to make sure that you check all your working just to make sure you haven't made any really silly errors. The other thing to make sure you do is to write these stages down in the questions. Because let's say that you make a silly mistake here and you write down uh, 20 minus 8 is 14 and you use your 14 correctly later on to get your answer, you will still get some method marks. So it's important that you're showing all of your working. Let's have a look at another one. So Beth buys some cushions. Each cushion costs five pounds. Beth pays with two 20 pound notes. She gets 15 pound change. Work out the number of cushions Beth buys. So here I'm looking at this piece of information. Beth pays with two £20 notes. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at that information and say, well, I know in that case that that is two times 20, that is £40 that Beth has paid to start with. She gets £15 change. So just like above with Arjan, we're going to work out if she's paid 40 and she gets £15 change. 40 take away 15 is 25. We know that Beth has spent £25 and again I'm writing that down so I'm showing all of my working out. We're now going to work out each cushion costs £5 so how many lots of £5 can I get out of £25? So I'm dividing 25 by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, that's 5. So I know that Beth can buy 5 cushions. 